Hey, what's up everybody? It's Friday, so time for a Fright Friday review. This week's category was One Hell of a Movie. So this week I chose Tales from the Crypt Presents Demon Knight. And here's the trailer. Universal Pictures is proud to present the motion picture directing debut of one of America's most talented and respected artists. Cut! Cut, 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 cut! Oh, hello, kitties. So glad you could join me. Your pal, the Crypt Keeper, has gone Hollywood in a big way. I'm directing my first feature film. Care for a little shriek preview? <laughs> For my big screen premiere, I wanted lots of suspense. Uh -oh. Special effects, <laughs> sex, yeah. violence. The kind of thing you could really sink your teeth into. Hi! Frights! Camera! Action! It's about a chase through the ages. A race against time. The war between good and evil. Come on out, everybody. It's time to play. And the final battle between man... I'm sorry. ...and demon. I'm not gonna hurt you. I lied. It stars Billy Zane from Dead Calm, William Sadler from Die Hard 2, and Jada Pinkett from Menace to Society. Ooh, I love those titles. And you'll love Demon Knight. The hair! The demons are here! And ladies, if you think Demon Knight is too gross and yucky... Whoa! Thank you! <laughs> All right, that's Demon Knight, and here's a little info about it on uh, Internet Movie Database. It came out in 1995. Runtime is an hour and 32 minutes. A man on the run is hunted by a demon known as the Collector. I'll go ahead and bring up some photos here. Take a look at. Let's check out the Crypt Keeper at his screamier. <laughs> All right. Of course, we got John Kassir doing the Crypt Keeper. All right, kitties, here we go. Um, we got Billy Zane as the collector. William Sadler uh, plays uh, Breaker. Uh, John Kassir, who I just said, the Crypt Keeper. Jada Pinkett Smith is Geraldine. Brenda Bake is uh, Cordelia. CCH Pounder is Irene. We got Dick Miller was Uncle Willie. Thomas Hayden Church was Roach. Uh, John Shuck is the Sheriff Trooper. Gary Farmer as the Deputy. Charles Flesher, who was the voice of Roger Rabbit. And he was also in um, Back to the Future Part 2, I believe, as well as some other um, movies. Uh, we got Tim Dizarn. Uh He was Homer. Sheriff Rose. Oh, Sheriff Rose. I'm sorry. I'm thinking about the sheriff there. Sherry Rose was Wanda. Uh, let's see. Then there's a few other people. Danny, which was the kid in there. Um... Chasey Lynn, Party Babe. Okay, so there were a whole bunch of Party Babes where um, Uncle, uh, let's see, where was he? Uncle Willie, he was hallucinating a bunch of topless uh, women, serving him beer and everything, one part of the movie. Uh, it was directed by Ernest R. Dickerson. Uh, it was written by Ethan Riff. Let's see, there's some images there. That's what I already showed you. So basically, um, starts out with a car chase. William Sadler is being chased by the collector, Billy Zane. Big old car chase, explosion. Uh, William Sadler escapes, tries to steal a car, but gets caught by this kid. 
Um, so he runs off and he ends up uh, renting a room uh, at this old church, which is run by Irene, uh, played by CCH Pounder. Um, Uncle Willie showed him the place. He um, ran him to like this, not an alleyway, but some business place or alley. I'm not really sure where it was. And he like offered him a drink and he asked him if there was any place he could stay. Um, so when he gets there, he checks in, he's got a bunch of cash. Uh, Jada Pinkett's character, Geraldine works there. Um, Brenda Bate Cordelia is like a hooker that works there. I guess she lives there too. Roach was just a customer that had come in. Um, we got Charles Fletcher who played Wally, uh, kind of a slow, um, slower person or mentally challenged a little bit. He's been crushing on Cordelia forever. Uh, he got fired from the post office. And so from the accident, there's a couple of cops who show up. Uh, they run into Billy Zane and he says how, uh, he's after this guy. He's, uh, had something stolen from him and it's actually the key uh, which they need to like take over the earth, uh, something along those lines. It, and we learn later it's contained with the blood of Christ and a lot of the other uh, demon knights that were passed on through the generations. Uh, so Billy Zane, the collector, raises all these demons. Uh, Roach wants to try to get out of there and make a deal with them. Of course, that doesn't end well. Um, they're picked off one by one or either possessed. Uh, arms ripped off, turned into demons, a lot of good death scenes, gory death scenes, and um, they're just trying to survive the night, basically. Uh, and so, of course, uh, there's a final battle between uh, William Sadler and Billy Zane, uh, except, uh, spoiler alert, uh, if you haven't seen it, you might want to stop listening, um, but he gets killed and passes it on to someone in the movie um, to be the protector. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much the main idea of the movie, just surviving the demons. Uh, so it definitely fits for one hell of a movie. And uh, if you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. Uh, like I said, a lot of good death scenes, eyes through the demons getting shot, a whole bunch of really cool stuff. And for, um, a nineties movie, it held up, uh, pretty well still to today. And if you're a Tales from the Crypt fan, definitely check it out. All right, let me know if you've seen this movie in the comments. Um, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time.